Despite growing up in the Bible Belt, I didn't actually hear the story of Jesus until I was about 15. Um, when I was a kid, my parents moved to this small uh, town up in the mountains called Tracy City. Um, and they opened up their own, their own business, but my dad uh, worked off the mountain a lot. And since he was gone all the time, my mom uh, started having this affair. And the guy she was having the affair with was actually a drug dealer. Um, and because of her involvement with that, her personality changed. Uh, she used to be this carefree, loving person, but she became more verbally abusive towards me. Um, she'd tell me I was garbage and just worthless. And those words really sank into me and kind of triggered a depression. Um, and I really started to hate myself. Uh, so we packed everything up and started moving state to state. Eventually we wound up in Florida and some bounty hunters actually caught up with us and brought my mom back to Chattanooga where my dad moved us back so that we could be with her. And my dad started making me go to church uh, and I hated it. I was uh, an atheist at this point. Uh, I couldn't understand how a loving, caring God could allow so much pain and darkness to exist in, in my own life. Um, so while I was in church, uh, I just reminded myself that as soon as I turned 18, I could just bolt. Funny thing was though, I actually started to enjoy it, uh, especially the youth group. There are all these people who are becoming my friend and, and pouring love into my life, and I was just not used to the people caring about me. But one day, I was at school, and my grandpa came and picked me up early. Uh, I get home, and everyone's in the living room crying, and I found out that my mom had committed suicide. That afternoon, Pastor Tony actually came over and was there to kind of comfort us and console us and even pray over us. Um, but I just smiled and nodded and I couldn't wait to get out of there. About a week later, um, everyone was out of the house. I was by myself. Uh, I just started screaming and, and cussing out God, um, just asking Him, why did you let this happen? Why did you allow this stuff to happen to my family? Uh, do you even care about me? Um, and I got out this, this pocket knife and had it at my wrist, uh, ready to end my own life. And this, this wave of calm just came over me. It was like a peace. And I just heard this voice telling me to just hang on. Something was going to happen. Something was going to change. So I put the knife away and just carried on with my life. So I was in youth group one Wednesday night, and Chuck Patrick gets up on stage and starts telling this story about how God had created this, this beautiful world of ours, and yet He loved these messed up, ugly, sinful things that we are. Um, and then He went to tell the gospel, and He starts telling the story of Jesus, um, and how He carried this cross up a mountain and died on it, and not only died on it, but came back to life because He couldn't stand to be away from us. And my heart just broke. Uh, it had been stoned for so long, and this was like the final hammer blow um, that cracked it open so that Jesus could come in and say, I'm here, I love you, let's do this. And the rest of my life hasn't been the same since then. That's what, that's what the church is. It's this place where people can go, no matter who they are, what they've done, what they've been through, and people will love them unconditionally and finally point them to Jesus on the cross. And that's the only place that those people, no matter how lost and broken they are, can finally find hope and peace.